St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Our celebrant today is the pastor of Our Lady of Sorrows Parish here in Toronto, Father Nino Cavoto. A good day to those of you joining us across the land and those of you here at St. Basil's for the televising of today's Mass, which is made possible by a contribution from an anonymous donor from Cambridge, Ontario. This Mass is offered for the souls in purgatory, soldiers overseas, more religious vocations, for peace in the world and within our families, for our government leaders, and for all people who are in need of prayer. Thank you for the gift of this Mass to the faithful in Canada. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us come before God our Father, seeking mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, we have sinned against you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood to give us strength and courage. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> Father, Guide us as you guide creation according to your law of love. <clears throat> May we love one another and come to perfection in the eternal life prepared for us and grant this to us through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, join in imitating me and observe those who live according to the example you have in us. For many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. I have often told you of them, and now I tell you even with tears. Their end is destruction, their God is the belly, and their glory is in their shame. Their minds are set on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and it is from there that we are expecting a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will transform the body of our humiliation, that it may be conformed to the body of his glory, by the power that also enables him to make all things subject to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, There was a rich man who had a manager, and charges were brought to him that this man was squandering his property. So the rich man summoned the manager and said to him, What is this that I hear about you? Give me an accounting of your management because you cannot be my manager any longer. Then the manager said to himself, <clears throat> what will I do now that my master is taking the position away from me? I am not strong enough to dig and I am ashamed to beg. I have decided what to do so that when I am dismissed as manager, people may welcome me into their homes. So summoning his master's debtors one by one, he asked the first, how much do you owe my master? He answered, a hundred jugs of olive oil. He said to him, take your bill, sit down quickly and make it 50. Then he asked another, and how much do you owe? He replied, a hundred containers of wheat. He said to him, take your bill and make it 80. And his master commended the dishonest manager because he had acted shrewdly for the children of this age are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than are the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. 